What's up, Doug and Laura, Eden Lawn Services. That's us. Uh, it is stinking cold. You notice I got a sweatshirt and I got a jacket on. It is it's cold this morning. We had a heavy frost. It's about 29, 30 degrees, and we had to wait to mow because it was too frozen, and it sucked. So now I'm like two hours behind. I'm not behind because I'm still mowed the same amount. I'm already mowed six acres, but I started two hours later than normal. So today might be a little bit of a long day. We'll see. Uh, I just want to point something out. The views on videos, but it's just me, have lower um, um, hits, lower, lower watches, lower watch times, everything. You put lower in the video and everybody watches it more. Huh. Uh, they're probably to, tired of me after six years. I don't know what to, <laughs> to tell you. I'm serious, guys. You put lower in the video and I get more, I get more watch time. Everybody's looking at my beautiful wife. Uh -huh. So anyways, guys, I mowed six acres uh, on a, a contract. It's grass, six acres, irrigated. And got that done. And now uh, we're grabbing a big yard off of today's schedule that the production crew normally does. But we're going to go do a little bit of a... Check it out. A little checky checky to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm sure they are. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, they're doing they're doing really, really good. But uh it's a big one. I don't know how many what is it? About an acre of grass, I think. And it's got border around the whole and thing. It's got about an acre of curbing. A, a mile of curbing <laughs> on an acre, I think. It's a lot. So you gotta you gotta walk that property twice. Once to flat trim and one one to live edge it. It's a it's quite a property. So it's gonna take us probably an hour. Yeah, which will free them up. Yeah, yeah. An hour. And then uh, later today we'll see where they're at. Today's a heavy, heavy schedule day. There's a lot of properties on today. So we'll see where they're at on the schedule and then we'll probably have to help them out. Uh, I still have to go mow about four more acres down at that other facility though, so. <laughs> yeah. So, acreage and mowing residential so i'm gonna get the we're gonna go do this we're gonna go do the other facility then we'll see if they need help and we'll jump in how's that sound is that a plan we'll talk about that yeah <laughs> we know they need help yeah i know but i gotta get that other facility done yeah too i know i need a clone of me you're so awesome well it's nobody can mow like i can mow. nobody 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 i got mad skills all right, let's find something for you guys to watch today that's not just us talking. Come on, back. Yeah. So yesterday we talked about success in business. But right now we've got an issue. I'm going to see what Laura's answer is. We actually discussed this a couple days ago. She might get it right. Or agree with me, I should say. What's our weakest link right now? Are well, we besides doing... not having a truck, we know that. Was, that. <laughs> that was my first thought, yes. <laughs> We're working on that, guys. We're working on that. But what's our weakest link right now? I don't know. What's huh? our You're only link? as strong as your weakest player on your team. But I don't think it's a person. I think it's equipment. We think we have the weakest equipment? Yeah. It's that mower right there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Didn't we? We discussed this the other day. Yeah. It's pretty. It's getting pretty wore out. Well, one thing at a time. I know. I know. Let me uh, walk around this side of the trailer, and I'll show you what we're talking about here, guys. There she is. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Laura? I think she's gonna treat us just like a Toyota. Oh. And go and go and go and go. <laughs> It's a 2012 Walker B18 with a Kohler motor in it. It has got a bazillion hours on it. It burns oil like, like a lot. Matter of fact, we got to stop the store and get some more oil. <laughs> That's how much it burns. And it doesn't run on anything below half throttle. So you just basically start it at half throttle and you shut it off at half throttle and you just keep going. Just like a good old pickup truck. Yeah, uh-huh. And then uh, when you start in the morning and it's cold, it pulls to the right, but then you run it for about, I don't know, five minutes and it, it starts going straight. 
At least it doesn't pull to the left. <laughs> I'm gonna be positive, man, just like I would with an employee. You go, you go, you go. <laughs> you old girl. You're awesome. If so, I'm gonna flip the camera. The problem back. is this, guys. We didn't anticipate having to use that mower this much this year. We it was not even in the cards at the end of the season last year, but now that we got two crews going, uh, she's getting used on the daily. And if it goes down. We're in a little bit of trouble. Huh, sweetie? Yeah, one of us will have the 36, and uh, one of us will have the 48. The 36 goes on the other trailer. I know, they'll probably have the 36. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, guys, that's our weakest link right now. And it's not a weak mower. It, it actually works really good. It's got a brand new set of blades on there, man. It's cut like a dream. But uh, she's just old. She's she's old, and she shouldn't have to work this hard. <laughs> same <laughs> kind of like us <laughs> all right guys time to get after it oh yeah lawns mode look pretty good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that looks good right there that's you honey what? i said that looks good right there oh that's you. oh thank you baby <laughs>
It always seems to be the long way when you're in a hurry. Mm, so it's four o'clock, guys. Uh, all the residentials are done. The production crew is done. Um, the only thing we have left is about four or five acres left on a commercial property. That's four or five acres of grass and a gigantic hill. That uh, uh, I'm splitting up the production crew. I sent the trimmer home because uh, we don't need a trimmer over there. We just need a mower. So my lead man and I are going to both grab both 64 inch mowers and we're going to go knock crap out of them. But what you guys saw in that video is the old B18. Now, the B18 still mows great. She's a little finicky here and there, but you know, she's got aches and pains. She's Wait obviously a, a woman. She's a woman. <laughs> she's got a lot of little aches and pains and you gotta, you know, coerce her a little bit, but she still mows great. You guys saw those stripes. And honestly, if I had the new B27, it would have been no different. I still would have had a double pass because there was just a little haze there because they're the same exact decks. 2012 B18, 2023 B27, same exact deck. Put them side by side and they look identical other than the B18 has a lot more dents and wear marks and lack of paint. Like I said. But it mows great. It mows great. So, uh, yeah, there's our weak link. If we can keep that thing running this season without any major, major, major issues, it will be definitely a success, but I don't want to jinx us either because I don't know if it's going to hold up that all year long. I, I wouldn't mind finding another tractor and putting that deck on it. So we have some, a little bit of uh, reassurance that we're going to make it through the season, but right now we don't have the money for that because we've got to buy a truck. Right? Yep. Got to buy a truck. So anyways, guys, that's our video. We'll see you later. Till next time, it is the Grass Goddess and the Sodfather, signing off. Bye.